All right. Right here, well, they're a little bit futuristic, they're a little bit retro. Auckland artist Martin Horsball takes other people's trash and makes robots that are winning fans with their quirky charm. Ali Akram caught up with him ahead of a new exhibition. What lurks in the attic? Could it be that a robot army made from all the things that you have ever thrown away are waiting in the dark, plotting their revenge on wasteful humans. Well, not exactly. In this case, the commander of this robot army is Auckland sculptor Martin Horsfall. You can see that that's the top of uh, an optic uh, for vodka or whatever spirits. That's the top of a sh an old um, Philly Shave shaver. Um, suitcase handles. On Friday, two years of rummaging at dumps and junk shops and beavering away in the attic will see the light of day in Martin's exhibition, Return of Retrobots, at the Leatham Gallery in Ponsonby. I'll be in the, in the shop, sort of, you know, picking something up and saying, OK, rock it, I'll have it. <laughs> Other people will say, oh, rubbish. <laughs> Martin's made 80 robots so far, 50 have sold, for prices ranging up to $850 for the larger ones. All have names like Good Hair Day and Little Steady Eddie. Arena Deluxe, she's a beauty. And, um, yeah, well, this is nice. This fella here. What's his name? He's called Austin Charger. Sometimes they'll have one. I try and make them have one big eye and one small eye, or whether they're a little bit you know, asymmetric where they might have had an arm chopped off and it's been replaced by something that's not quite right. So I, I try and make them a bit sort of comical. Martin has scoured scrapyards and junk shops as far away as Dunedin, using parts made in the 50s and 60s exclusively for his creations. These are the design decades he loves. All the cars today are just like, you know, they're all streamlined, they all look the same, they're boring, they're made of bits of plastic, and that's not progress for me. <laughs> they should have big bits of chrome and a thing. Perhaps it's this lived-in nostalgic look that's seen plenty of fans learn to love his robotic horde. It's got no religious or sort of, you know, for sure uh, significance. It is what it is. You see, if you don't like it, it's tough. <laughs> You're not missing out on anything, you know. There's no, there is no deeper meaning to this art. It is, it is what it is. Oh, it's fantastic. I love them. I know, I'm I not much of a robot person, but that would be a great exhibition. I'm completely a robot person. Yes. I already own two of his robots. Right. They're cool. fantastic. Do you know where the exhibition is? Uh, yes, it's at the, uh, what's the name of the gallery. They said it in the thing, didn't they? It's, right. um, it's on Jewish Road, uh, just opposite. Um... We'll come back to you after business. All right, I'll just sit here and think. <laughs> Here's Michael with our business update.